Blessings, everyone. This is Chris Kendall from the rawadvantage.com. Registered holistic nutritionist, raw food lifestyle coach. Today, we're going to do some oral hygiene yoga. That's right, oral hygiene yoga. Get ready for it. Baby, I like it raw. Raw Advantage likes it raw. Ooh, baby, I like it raw. Yeah, baby, I like it raw. All right, so oral hygiene yoga, what is that? Well, it's the emergence of your oral hygiene plan or your toothbrush and floss and all that kind of fun stuff plan with some yoga. Why? Well, it gets two birds with one stone. You get to have double the pleasure, double the fun, double the benefit, right? You get to get double the benefit. And that way you take an existing habit and you tack a new habit onto it, which just leads it to being easier, leads you into having more structure and a little bit more consistency with both, you know, because... If you think of one, you'll think of the other. You do both at the same time. Maybe you'll like it. Check it out. So let's go for it. This isn't going to go super deep into what I use in the ultimate oral hygiene plan because that's going to be another video. This is basically what I do most often. So got my toothbrush here, got my tooth soap. So what we're going to do is start with the top row of teeth. I prefer to start in tree pose on my left side. So I'm going to get into tree pose and brush the top. Here are a few tips to make sure you get the most of your tree pose. Start by having your toes spread wide on the floor and use your hand to bring your opposite foot up onto the inner thigh or below the knee. Open up your hips by moving your knee to the side. Shoulder blades back, chest lifted, while your shoulders are away from the ears. Find something still to focus on to help with balance. Maybe a tree. I find nothing here. Oh yeah. You may find it helpful to brace your belly to stabilize your pelvis. Also squeeze your buttocks to keep your standing legs stable to help open up your hip. Feel the burn. Some of the benefits of tree pose is that it strengthens the thighs, calves, ankles, pelvis, and spine. It stretches the groins and inner thighs, chest, and shoulders, improves the sense of balance, relieves sciatica, and reduces flat feet. Whoa! On a metaphysical level, it helps to achieve balance in other aspects of life. If you're already really comfortable with tree pose and half lotus, you can try the slightly more difficult variation. Be sure to flare the knee out to open up the hips. Remember, it's through losing our balance and coming back again that we learn, grow, and expand. If you don't feel as comfortable with your left hand, you can switch back to your right to make sure you brush the bottom side of your teeth just as well as the top. An extra bonus of combining these two practices is that you take a little bit more time with each, doing them daily and hopefully for a longer duration than you would otherwise simply brushing your teeth alone. While brushing the tongue, sit in chair pose or powerful pose. Some tips for a great chair pose. Place your weight on your heels, squeeze your thighs together, engage your core, tuck your tailbone, and look up. All right, so there's the toothbrushing portion. We have some beautiful dental floss. You can use dental floss. You can use a water pick. I use the water pick more often than dental floss unless I got something really jammed in my teeth. Sometimes I'll use both, but what I need to do is use the water pick here. So what I typically do with this one for skateboarding, because skateboarding and practicing manuals and stuff, I just stand on one foot while I'm doing the top. So I go. While standing on one foot, spread the toes wide, lift the arch up, and feel your head pull towards the sky. This develops the ankles, the feet, knee and the hips. Straight up to the other side. Some other awesome options are standing leg raise, extended hand to big toe pose, or otherwise eagle with just the legs rather than the arms. Oh. And that's it. That's my general oral hygiene yoga. What I do most days I usually just use these two. If you want to get deeper into it, definitely check out part two, the ultimate oral hygiene plan, which gets a little bit more intense, 
goes into some of the stuff I actually use where you can find it and a lot more. Hope you enjoy the practice. Or hygiene yoga. Tooth care and yoga combined. Ooh, don't forget to click here to get your free ebooks. Plus, if you're looking for a quickie, a Kendalini Yoga quickie, click here to check out my video from the Raw Living Expo. Excited to announce my new iPhone app, free with 101 freaking Ross awesome recipes, Terry Retreat Treats, food combining charts, shopping carts, and more.